appreciate you saved my life Girl, let me show you where we're gonna head When you turn to come to me instead Hello! Welcome back God, my, my intros are just terrible guys, aren't they? Absolutely, utterly, utterly brilliant. <laughs> <coughs> and yes, you may be thinking, oh my god, another video from this guy. What is going on? And you're right to question that. Since when has this guy released, wait, what was it? Three videos. <laughs> Nearly two weeks. New series, rants. I'm hearing a lot of good things about that. <coughs> <coughs> it's not a video on DHL, don't worry. Meaning people like <coughs> Just maybe we've finally made another series that might actually be successful and enjoyable. If you've not seen the previous video, go watch this previous video and then come back here and admit to me that I'm right in everything I said because I know I am. But this video is not an episode of rant. This video is about the return of the most <laughs> pathetic series on YouTube. <coughs> This is the series where people are from university, or people have herpes, or in fact, it's just about people that don't know how to have a good holiday. <laughs> oh, the reviews I've found so far in this. Oh, you know what? There you go. Here's, a, here's another episode. The only, oh god, the only beer they had in Tenerife was something like Sam Michael. Never heard of, never heard of it before. I expect he's, I expect of Lily's or Recorder Link. I'm sorry. <laughs> what? Am I reading that right or are you seeing this as what? Well? Sam Michael. I don't, Sam, Sam, Sam Michael. Unbelievable. First of all, how dare you criticise San Miguel, one of the most refreshing beers in the world, apart from being refreshing here because it tastes horrible here. The only place it could possibly taste well is in Sp well, in Spain, obviously. I've seen a lot of weird things on this series, but San Michael, I think, is right up there. San Michael, San Miguel, San Michael is a very, very, very well-known beer. I'm sorry, Lilies. Since when has Lilies been a popular beer? It's weird that because the only Lilies pump I've ever seen in my local pub, the Ashley. And I'll be honest, it's quite nice. I can't lie, it is quite nice. But even so, don't you dare diss San Miguel. Just for that, you should be locked up for good and have the key thrown away for life and you should have the death sentence. The hotel did an Italian cuisine night that all they served was pizza and pasta. <coughs> now, the person who's written this is obviously just another another Taj man doer. No, I prefer English food, you get me? Like pizza or Chinese. Whoever you are, you're probably brain dead, you're probably from the south, you're probably, again, from university. Being a chef myself, obviously, correct me if I'm wrong, there isn't Italian cuisine, pizza and pasta anyway. So if it's not pizza and pasta, there's literally nothing else in the world that Italian cuisine could be. These Italian nights and, you know, international nights, they are quite interested in hotels and they are quite nice. I've been to a Greek one before, been to a Chinese one before, been to an Italian one before. They're all really, really nice. So it's obvious that the person who's written this review is obviously from the South and goes to university and works in a lorry. And whoever has written this has probably taken his time, or, oh, hang on a minute, his time, her time, their time, basketball time to write this review because they've obviously finished all the coursework and they're a bit bored. When Unless you cannot say anything beautiful about the Italian cuisine, do not say it at all, oh. huh? The hotel swimming pool smelt horrible, almost like it had some sort of chemical in it. We asked reception and they said it was chlorine. So we complained and never received a refund. I have a news flash for you. You're just as dumb as Osama Bin Laden. First of all, chlorine, me great duck. Chlorine is used to clean the swimming pools. However, for 90% of England anyway, because the 90% of Britain that I'm on about is the 90% of people that have smelly armpits and drink Boddington's all day. Fair enough. If you want to be in a swimming pool that has got frogs in it because it won't be clean enough, then go ahead. Or even better, just jump in Sandy Lane Lake. You get a horrible, disgusting, but yet realistic smell of cannabis. On the way to the airport, Getting off the bus was like escaping from the top of Everest where it's freezing to emerge into the sorry bloody dead 
the Sahara bloody desert. I gotta be honest, I do agree with that one. I can't lie. <laughs> That's the first realistic one I've seen in a long time. When you are on an airport shuttle bus in the Mediterranean somewhere, it can get incredibly freezing on that bus. <laughs> Yeah, no, no, darling. You put the aircon on just so you're not too hot. It's pointless because 20 minutes later, you have to get off and be hot anyway. Because the entire reason of being on holiday is to be hot and to make yourself more orange. I don't blame you, but at the same time, don't be so stupid and daft. Wait. <laughs> okay. <coughs> this is a good one. This is the best one I've seen in a long time. <laughs> We'd gone with our grandparents and unfortunately for us, we didn't realise it was some sort of LGBTQ, HTY, IPMC plus decimal point hotel. <laughs> hey, my guy, my guy, come on, come on. Till we ordered a round of porn, so this only gets better, read the till we ordered a round of porn stars only for the weird waiter guy to take five minutes to understand we meant a round of martinis <coughs> that's the best one i've seen in a long time it's so realistic in today's world and today's existence that is so realistic you just get so many dirty sam smith lookalikes walking around like that thinking you want to talk dirty all the time there are some elements where you just think just shut the and do your job and get me a drink. I agree with that review so much. Things like that wind me up, they really, really do. Today's existence is just pathetic in my opinion. People have gone all square eye, dreamy bye-bye, whatever that is. You know what? I kind of respect people like that. I kind of respect people opening the gobs and saying reviews like this because there are people in the world that don't think that sort of thing should be spoken about all the time. If you do talk to somebody that happens to be a decimal point kind of person, whoever it is, is going to say it's really wrong that you disagree with all of it that's just today's society you can't you can't think anything's wrong these days it's no longer heads down thumbs up world it's now yes man you just don't need things like that hotels like that and people like that you just don't you, some people just don't need it you don't need to be stared at in the face by a sam smith lookalike that also drives tractors apparently i think it was someone like travis scott had his entire tour cancelled because it wasn't a family show. But yet, about a week later, Sam Smith had a tour released, and these were the images of it. <laughs> family show! <laughs> Part of breakfast consisted of a choice of eggs, fried or scrambled. I thought it was disgraceful. Omelettes should be served everywhere. Get in the bin, will you? Throw yourself in the bin. <coughs> For starters, omelettes do not need to be served everywhere. They definitely don't need to be served at breakfast time. Whoever has an omelette at breakfast, I'm sorry, you're just trash. Everybody knows if you want breakfast abroad, you have a full English with hash browns, and that's an end of it. Absolutely no arguments with it whatsoever, apart from if you like croissants. Croissant? Anyone want a croissant? However, if you're Welsh, I understand that you have omelettes all the time. You need something to be happy about because it rains in your country all the time. Just get in the bed. Stop complaining. Stop moaning. We stayed in a small hotel in a place that had a square with restaurants and bars and so on. In the middle of it was this absolutely enormous tree that had parrots all over it. At 4am every damn morning you knew about it let me tell you it's weird that because we because me and my family we used to go to a place in spain i can't remember the name i think it was villa joy via joyosa or something like that. i can't remember the name it was exactly the same setup square restaurants a big and a big parrot tree but i always said i'd hate to sleep there because you get woken up at dawn every morning it would be very very weird for couples to actually stay in a place like that because chances are if you waddle through the door at 3 a.m smashed out your head one of these damn parrots releases something all the way down your clothes there Ezekiel, <laughs> what on earth is that stain all the way down your jacket uh what are you on about what are you on about i'm talking about that big white stain on your jacket i hope you haven't been Playing around? I'm not going anywhere, darling. I've been to the pub. 
I know you've been to the pub, but that stain on your jacket suggests... This is bird shit. Don't you realise there's a load of parrots outside? So you've been in the company of a dirty fishy sandwich girl! Just for that, you can sleep on the sofa. Stuff this, I'm going back to the pub. <sighs> the only spirits they did were Malibu and Jim Beam. No wonder the person next to me at the bar took forever. He was that pissed he thought he was actually in Malibu and that the barman's name was Jim. <laughs> it's not really a dumb review, is it? But it's so realistic. Everywhere you go, there's always that one person who's gone a little bit too far and assumes everything that's been said to him is just so realistic and real. You just say whatever's in front of you. <laughs> and why do I do this series, honestly? That's why they've started making people pay so much more extra on, for example, a cruise like, because they're getting that fed up of 40 year old people from Brighton drinking absinthe and talking about horses all night. Just drink themselves stupid all the time and ruin everybody else's experience. I think I'm gonna call it on that, <laughs> to be honest. We'll see you very, very soon for episode three of Brown. Appreciate you, you know, saved my life. Yeah. Girl, let me show you where we're gonna head. When you turn, I'll come to me instead. Run through it all, now I'm never looking dead. Everybody's.